Bonjour, mes amis, and welcome to the Rendezvous de Cajun radio and TV show live from the historic Liberty Theater in downtown Eunice, Louisiana. This program, the only one of its kind, is sponsored by the city of Eunice, the Jean Lafitte National Historical Park and Preserve, the St. Landry Parish Tourist Commission, the Louisiana Office of Tourism, the LouisianaTravel.com, the Cajun French Music Association, John Gilroy Allstate Insurance of Eunice, and the Best Stop Supermarket of Scott, Louisiana. Tonight's gonna be a really special night. We're honoring a very special man, a guy that's been around for a long time playing Cajun music. Call him kind of the dean of our Cajun music culture. He's written some of the best love songs, best loved songs, and best love songs in, uh, in Cajun music history. Mr. D.L. Menard be celebrating his birthday on the 14th. He'll be 38 years old, but you gotta flip the numbers around. We'll have him up here in just a little bit. We're going to kick off right now. Boys in the band, are y'all ready? All right, allons-y.
Bonsoir tous mes amis ici de Théâtre Liberté. Comment ça va? Oh, comment on dit à Sicilia? Comment toi y es? Toi y es ok? How many people are from some place outside of South Louisiana? Raise your hands. Yo! But you're going to have a hard time understanding what we say. We're happy to have you all here tonight. It's a really special, special treat for us to have uh, this get-together with Mr. D.L. Menard. And we're going to have him up here in a bit. But I want to introduce all the members of this illustrious group, the Jambalaya Cajun Band. To your right-hand side, we grew up together in Bro Bridge. And we were little, little, little boys. Been playing music together for a long time. Long time. Mr. Bobby Dumatre. Guy playing the accordion here with the same fashion suspenders that I wear. Hard, hard to find those things anymore, you know that? Red. <laughs> Red, that's right. From Church Point, Louisiana, Mr. Reggie Mott. <laughs> On the drums, the guy I've known the longest in the band. From Bro Bridge, my brother, Mr. Tony Uval. And helping us tonight, this uh, long-legged drink of water here. Uh, he is, uh, his father was a member of the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville for years, Mr. Jimmy C. Newman. This is Mr. Gary Newman, ladies and gentlemen. And my name is Terry Huval with the Jambalaya Cajun Band, and we're so happy to be here. Gonna slow it down a little bit in an old little song that we kind of revised in our own little style. Something called Little Black Eyes, Letitia Noir. Yeah. 
c'est pour ça que mon corps est ici. Some fine dancing. That was an old classic Cajun song originally recorded by the late Lawrence Walker, who folks said when he sang songs, he didn't sing them, he cried out those lyrics. And this was, that was a song about a guy who was in love with this guy with beautiful dark eyes. And she left him, doesn't know where, where she went, and his heart's been broken for the rest of, the rest of his life. All right, now we're going to uh, get uh, our special guest up here. Let's see, Mr. D.L. Menard. Is, is D.L. in the house? All right, Yell Menard. Well, Moshi Pare, I'm ready to. Right. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I'm ready to. Right. That's the slide. Have to Yeah, why did you write that song? Remember what year it was you wrote that song? Oh, no, man. You think it was like I got a good memory, but it's mighty short. You, you think it was in the 1800s or something you wrote down or not, no? Uh, 
at the end of the eight. Yeah. 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 That's right, boys. This next song here is one that you wrote uh, for your daughter. Well, I don't know. I guess so. Which one is it? <laughs> How many daughters you have? <laughs> uh, I think I have one. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Let it tune call Rebecca Ann. <laughs> How ah, beautiful. Well done. Beautiful, beautiful walls. Well, well, Dale, I think you're going to have some special guests here, including that lovely lady you sang that song about, right? Yeah, right. I'm glad you, you thought about that. I had kind of forgot, but uh, it was in the back of my mind. Anyway. Uh, how far back? Oh, maybe 10, 15, 10, 15 miles. You never know. <laughs> We're going to get Rebecca, Rebecca Ann, we're going to get her daughter Nelda come up here. They're going to join us in this next song, the most famous, famous Cajun song of all time. Aye, aye, aye. We're also going to call a good friend of ours that normally is back there on the camera or on the, the sound booth upstairs. Mr. Jerry DeVille is going to join us on this one too. So we're going to have a whole orchestra here. Where he's at? There you go. You know, people, the back door, it was recorded in 1962. 
What a cue. I'll tell you what. That's my ring. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy, this is something, yeah. You know, after this year, I don't want to be popular anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I'm we, grinning. We, we I'm great. We when, couldn't have scripted this this good. No, when, I'll tell you. When did he start getting popular? The back door <laughs> was recorded in 62, and come in July, that song's going to be 53 years old. That's the only song in the world that's still popular after 53 years. Oh, and hey. Oh, thank God for the Minor. Let, let me add a little bit more to that. That song has been the most re-recorded Cajun song in history. Uh, just about every band plays that song every time that they play. And even more important than that, this past, last year, Rolling Stone Magazine. Rolling Stone Magazine looked up the 100 most popular country and western songs of all time, and this song was ranked number 72 in that listing. Can you imagine a Cajun song being, I mean, this guy beat out. I thought they had made a mistake, y'all. I said they thought it was a country song. It's not a country song. It's a Cajun song. I'm sure they don't know any better, but I guess they did. They probably had a hard time understanding the accent. Could be. Uh, all right. Could be. Let's do it. Pop that yeah.
see. Thank you. That sounded good. I'll tell you what. That was an orchestra. Jerry. Jerry. So, Sonny, bien, Norm. Jerry, I evacuated. Got, had good harmonica. Ah, he's still there. Great harmonica playing. Jerry de Villiers. What, what a pleasure it is with such a good band and with a, with a star like D.L. Menor. A star? I mean, this is... This is Y'all paying attention? This, this is the height of it. I mean, there, you can't Y'all pay attention now. You simply cannot get any higher. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. All right. They all recorded a, a CD a couple of years ago. We played on it with them, and it got nominated for a Grammy Award. Several things, several points about that is that when we got nominated, DL and I went to Los Angeles. And he was wearing this really neat suit that had musical notes all along the front of the chest and the, and the arms and the legs. And it kind of looked like, like Hank Williams, had like that Hank Williams look to it. And he went down the big runway, the big red carpet, and he gets to get his picture taken in front of all the little Grammy statues on the on the back of him there. And two days later, I looked on the internet. I was seeing the pictures of the best dress. And I saw Lady Gaga, and then I saw D.L. Menard. You know, that's why I didn't win, on the kind of her. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the songs that you wrote, D.L. You want to tell a little bit about this song? It's a little song that happened about three miles away from home. It's just like a brother, a friend that I had. It's a little fella that got killed on a motorcycle, and his little uh, sister got there. She seen him. All dread, all, he was, he was laying down on the side of the ditch with, and she couldn't help herself talking to him. He said, Nag, what you have done, you'll never be able to come back home. That's the story of it. J'étais parti au village, il y avait un petit brouillard. Quand j'arrivais à le coin, il y avait un accident. J'ai arrêté pour aider, ils m'ont dit t'es trop tard, il y a plus rien. Commencé à parler, il était comme un plat, un ami que
arriver à la vie tout plein tout. Il était dans les temps, il était tout plein tout. La petite heure va monter, a dit mon écho ta je peux te donner, il est des enchifrains, on va voir l'enterrement, on va souhaiter un bel journée, ça qui se va le monter, à va t'ennuyer. On va aller se mettre à genoux Au ras du cercueil Il était dans les bras Un ami que j'aimais Beautiful song to the Almanor. Right, Dale. I'm going to let you come take a little break there. You'll come back and join us in just a bit. All right. Whenever you want me to come back, just wink at me. Well, the Almanor, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one like it in the whole world. We're going to tell you some Dale Almanor stories perhaps a little bit later on if we have enough time. This, uh, there's a lot of stories. Do a little song here that we recorded. Something called Thank You, Mr. Dewey. Merci, Monsieur Dewey. Oh, 
with some fine dancing up there. Ready, a little broken hearted waltz here, buddy. La Vaz de Caracasse. Great job, Reg. The Broken Hearted Waltz. Going to do something a little different here. You know, Cajun steel guitar kind of came in around the time that the Hawaiian guitar became so so popular. And uh, Cajuns adapted it and kind of used their own little special tuning to it and actually picked up a lot of country songs to be sung with it. This is an old uh, Belton Richard song that kind of came by the way of Merle Hagen, right? The Cajun Fugitive.
our seat. DL. Thank you very much. A uh, oh, little uh, country t t touch to it. I'm going to do another one kind of like that here. Get DL Menard back, back up here on stage. You know, you ready to hear DL sing again? Nelda's here too. Come on, Nelda. She wants uh, he, he wants support. All right. Yeah. Go do water pump. Okay, the pump do the water pump. I'll we'll call on another special guest here, Mr. Larry Menor. What's the matter with that guy? Hey, this is a live TV and radio show. We will visit after the show. No, no, you can't do it today, but tomorrow. What's the song we're doing now, Mr. DL? Body Shanba? On Body Shanba. The way some of y'all can understand it. Under the green oak tree. <laughs> Thank you. 
des enfants du chemin sur le bord du marais. When I recorded my country album in Nashville, the company flew Larry to Nashville to do the homing on it. So let me tell you, that was a great treat for me. What's, what's this all about anyway? It's about some friends of mine at the camp 
by the wood. It's called the crazy Cajun of the country. I wrote that song especially for them. It was more or less a joke song. And it turned out to be a very good little song. Of course, people, y'all gotta know, anything I write is fantastic. <laughs> hey, don't y'all think so? story about DL. The first time I ever went on tour with DL out of the state, we, we went to New York City to play. And I had never traveled with him before. I wasn't too sure of the logistics of leaving the airport to get to the hotel and get to the gig. And so I said, DL, I said, Where, what hotel are we staying in? He says, don't worry about it. He says, they're picking us up at the airport. I thought, boy, this is fancy stuff here, man. We got somebody picking us up at the airport. So we get out the airport gate and there's a guy, a little uh, oriental guy, wearing a tux. It says, D.L. Menard and Louisiana Ace is on the little sign in front of him. I thought, boy, we're in high cotton. Now, we get into a big stretch limousine. There was only four of us. So we're in this stretch limousine with D.L. He's sitting in the back seat, his cowboy hat on. That cab driver starts taking off down Manhattan. And you know what you hear about those New York cab drivers? Every bit of it's true. Every bit of it's true. This guy was, was swerving and stepping on the gas and all of a sudden he slammed on the brake to avoid an accident and then he started moving slowly again and all of a sudden DL speaks what'd you tell that guy DL? I said partner it's none of my business but I think you should slow that thing down <laughs> it don't get me wrong I said it's not that I'm scared I'm just kind of concerned <laughs> And it's true, yeah. That's a true story. 
I'm not joking. You know, we didn't, when we went to Los Angeles to win that, hopefully win that Grammy Award, we didn't win. And Dale had told me he wanted me to go on stage with him when he received it. And of course, if he won, but he didn't win. And I just have to wonder what would have come out of his mouth when he accepted that award. I don't even know myself. There, there are some things just better off not being known. <laughs> All right, yeah, what's this next song we're going to do? You didn't know I was married, huh? L'été après danser, j'ai demandé à mes amis ils t'étaient de qualité. À me sembler si mignon, à passer dans la clarté. Un homme marié à 23 mains, ça je suis né de coquille. Dale's going to be back again in just a little bit. Don't go too far, DL. All right, let me tell you. I won't. Don't get lost with that cab driver, whatever you do. No, I better not. Going to pick up the tempo a little bit here. Do an old Ira Lejeune number. Teach us how to play the special de Vaudreline. <laughs>
next song is one that Reggie recorded years and years ago. We re recorded again with him later on. It's a, it's a sad song about a, about a guy who's having lots of bad luck. His daughter had run off with some no count. His horse had a broken leg. He hardly had any food left in the pantry. It was just one thing after the other. And he wanted to eat, a, eat some kush kush. Kush kush is kind of like fried cornmeal. You put it with milk and sugar. And so he had his last bit of cornmeal that was left, his last bit of kush kush, poured his milk into it, got ready to take his first bite, and that was this pesky little fly. Landed right in his kush kush. So this song here, look, take out your handkerchiefs, take out your Kleenex. It's a really sad one. It says, I, I've got a, a fly in my kush kush and an aching in my heart. If it doesn't get better tomorrow, then just call and get some flowers. Let's do it, Ratch. Merci. Did that make you cry? Should have made you cry. It's a crying song. Next song, a little two step here, a song. Wear that little red dress and let's go out dancing, baby.
gonna try and sing another song but I'm kind of out of breath. Good job DL. DL's coming onto the bandstand for his grand finale of his set list here. Mr. DL Menard. Again ladies and gentlemen DL Menard. Tell you what, I'm not gonna send nobody to tell y'all. Y'all can't imagine how good I feel to see all my friends tonight. Thank you for coming for my birthday. And I hope, I hope next year I can be with y'all again. Think I will? The good Lord don't want me, huh? <laughs> and the devil re rejected me. So I don't know where I'm going.
qui est mignon Quand c'est que l'un bête il pleure D'un qui fait que tu peux dépendre Qu'un va grand mais quand c'est ton cœur Faut tout faire que tu es bien taillé C'est dans la raison que tu fais des morts Quand ton main bête il pleure C'est pas d'eau du bord d'un bois La fin de même, j'ai gagné ton amitié. Ta galère, mais tu peux seulement dans un corps que tu peux être. À chaque fois que pour la gare, la tout temps est pour qui m'a. À me semble qu'à mes lèvres qui pleurent, c'est pas d'eau du bord d'un bois. That's my one too. That's in one too. Tu es mon ami, il est mort à paix d'ormir. N'importe quoi, le bon Dieu fait, c'est tout le temps près de paix. Ta voix des fleurs pour tu vas manger, dans la fin du temps à paix. La seule chose que tu peux faire, c'est garder la vie. Sauter de ta maison Après aujourd'hui Je n'ai plus de droit Aujourd'hui C'est dans ta main A commencé à me manquer C'est pas la peine Que tu t'accasses Tu vas pas Te faire tomber C'est pas la pluie Qui a fait tomber c'est que ces anges qu'a fait
t'as pas le courage de tes jambes, t'as de chagrin de ton idée. Ça va être pour tu vas manger, t'auras perdu ton appétit. La seule chose que tu peux faire, c'est garder dans ton idée. Dans un sauté de ta maison, après aujourd'hui, tu as plus le droit. Aujourd'hui, c'est l'entendement, ça a commencé à brumater. C'est pas la peine que tu t'accasses, tu vas pas te pas tromper. C'est pas la pluie qui a fait tomber. Que ces anges qu'a fait pleurer. Thank you. Merci. Here's a little tune that I'm gonna sing. What's the matter with that mic? It's for a friend of mine. He liked that song, I don't know why, but he liked that song. It's for Roland and Ruby, Landry of Youngsville. I was riding number nine Inside from Caroline, I heard that long, 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 some whistle blew. Got in trouble, had to run, left my gal and left my home. I heard that long, 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 some whistle blew. Just a kid acting smart. I went and broke my darling's heart. I guess I was too young to know. They took me off the Georgia main, locked me to a ball and chain. I heard that long, 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 some whistle blew. All along, I bet the chain. I'm a number, not a name. I heard that long, 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 some whistle blew. Got in trouble, had to run. Left my gal and left my home. I heard that long, 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 some whistle blew. I'll be locked here in the cell Give my body just a shell And my hair turns whiter than snow I'll never see that gal of mine Lord, I'm in Georgia doing time I heard that long, long, long Some whistle blue. Thank you all. Back door, Julia. Oh, we're doing a grand finale here at the back door. <laughs> <laughs> 